Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question two from the International Maths Olympiad 2022. Let R plus denote the set of positive real numbers. Find all functions f from R plus to R plus, such that for each x in the positive reals, there is exactly one y in the positive reals, satisfying x times f of y plus y times f of x is less than or equal to 2. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Try taking advantage of the symmetry in x times f of y plus y times f of x is less than or equal to 2. Hint number 2. Define the function g to be such that g of x is the unique y such that x times f of y plus y times f of x is less than or equal to 2. What is g of y? Hint number three. Try guessing the possibilities for the function g. Can you prove these are the only ones? Although this question is more of the functional equation type, we are still faced with an inequality. So the standard inequalities, such as the AMGM inequality or Cauchy Schwartz inequality, may be of help. Try a proof by contradiction. Hint number four. Just like with G, a proof by contradiction may help with determining F. Try using the uniqueness of Y as your basis for contradiction. Solution. Define the function g to be such that g of x is the unique y such that x times f of y plus y times f of x is less than or equal to 2. Now, suppose that for some p, g of p is q. Then, due to the symmetry of our inequality, since if we swap x and y, in the expression x times f of y plus y times f of x, we get the same expression. g of q must be equal to p because of the uniqueness of y. And so g is an involution, i.e. g of g of x is equal to x. Let's try and guess some reasonable functions that g could be. An obvious possibility is g of x is equal to x. Let's try and see if we can prove that g of x is equal to x. So for the sake of contradiction, suppose there exists some p where g of p is equal to q, but p is not equal to q then setting y is p will not satisfy the inequality and so 2 times p times f of p will be greater than 2 and so p times f of p is greater than 1 and similarly since g of q is p setting x equal to q and y equal to q will also not satisfy the inequality and so q times f of q plus q times f of q will also be greater than 2, and so q times f of q is greater than 1, from which we can get that f of p is greater than 1 over p, and f of q is greater than 1 over q. Now plugging these results into the expression where 
x is equal to p and y is equal to q, we get that p times f of q plus q times f of p is greater than p over q plus q over p, which is greater or equal to 2 times the square root of pq divided by pq, which is equal to simply 2 by the AMGM inequality. And so we are faced with a contradiction since we have that p times f of q plus q times f of p is greater than 2, and so it cannot satisfy our inequality. And so g of x must be x. Now on to finding f. We have x times f of x plus x times f of x is less than or equal to 2. So x times f of x is less than or equal to 1. And so f of x is less than or equal to 1 over x. Let's see if anything wrong arises if f of x is less than or equal to 1 over x for some x. Say for some r f of r is equal to 1 over r plus s, where s is a positive real. Now r times f of r seems to satisfy the fact that r times f of r must be less than or equal to 1. But how about testing whether y is still unique? So perhaps y equal to r plus s also satisfies the inequality. And indeed it does, since r times f of r plus s plus r plus s times f of r is less than or equal to r divided by r plus s plus 1, since f of r plus s is less than or equal to 1 over r plus s, and f of r is equal to 1 over r plus s, and r divided by r plus s plus 1 is less than or equal to 2. And so it satisfies the inequality. And so we get a contradiction. S cannot be a positive real. And so f of r is equal to 1 over r to preserve the uniqueness of y. We check this indeed works. x times f of y plus y times f of x will be equal to x over y plus y over x which is greater or equal to 2 by the AMGM inequality, with equality if and only if x over y is equal to y over x, so x squared is equal to y squared, which, if we're dealing with positive reals, is true if and only if y is equal to x. So the inequality holds when x times f of y plus y times f of x is equal to 2, which happens at a unique y, y is equal to x for every x, and so we are done. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below, and see you next time.